Help me ducks, welcome back to the Hermit's Cave. As mentioned, this is my second video um, of the evening. And it's just to come on really and do a walkthrough of a deck that, wow, it's probably, I've been probably trying to get, or I say trying to get, it's very easy to get, a deck that I've been meaning to get for a couple of years at least. Um, I love the artwork by Tony Carmine Salerno um, and I've got Oracle decks um, but not a tarot deck. I saw this earlier in the month when we went to Glastonbury. It's hard to believe it's still the same month. Um, it feels like a lifetime ago now. Um, and it was in the Tantra shop that they've opened which was where the old Star Child used to be. And I picked it up and I looked at it and I thought, shall I? And I thought, well, I'm not really, I did say I'm not going to buy any decks in Glastonbury. I only wanted to get the goddess, blah, 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 blah. So anyway, I didn't. And then when I looked on Amazon, um, it said one copy remaining. And the price was pretty reasonable. Um, and I think the reason why there's just one copy remaining, because it's going to be re-released later in the year. And it's going to be called the Tarot of Light. Um, I'm not sure why. And looking on Amazon, the packaging and everything looks identical in every way. Um, same cover, looks like the same box size. Um, but the title is changing from the Art of Love Tarot to the Tarot of Light. Um, so I thought, well, I will get it. It's by Blue Angel, who usually do Oracle decks. So... Um, and I can't even remember, you know, it's been so long, probably a couple of years, maybe three years since I first saw this deck. And therefore, you know, it's going to come as a bit of a surprise. Now, while I was in the Tantra shop in Glastonbury, I did pick up this journal, um, which lots of images are from the Oracle decks. Um, it is absolutely wonderful. I showed it when I did my Glastonbury goodies uh, video. There are quotes. This beautiful paper, beautiful images all the way through. Um, look at that, that Ganesh, all the way through this, this journal. Um, I have started, I don't want to show, right at the beginning, I've started writing a few uh, bits. I'm going to write dreams and goals and things like that, but it's just beautiful. And it was only, I think, 12 or 13 pounds. Um, and it's stunning. It has these um, kind of built-in bookmarks as well. So, yeah, because I love the artwork so much. 2016, this was released. Oh, it was 13 99 Still left the uh, price on. So, um, yeah, so I picked one up and there was, there was different ones. Um, and it's really good quality for 13 99 So let's have a look at the Art of Love um tarot now i'll probably rather than talk about um i'll talk about my first impressions but rather than talk through every card i don't want this video to be too long because i've done one already today i want to settle down for the evening so it might just be nice to have some some music and let you see um the images but as you can see it's a nice sturdy box it has the thumb uh, cut out bit so you can part it pretty easily he says first time is always the hardest um there we go oh and we get a bookmark it's novel and really nice so we get a beautiful bookmark blue angel bookmark the same design as on the front here's the the book cards are nice and big and um, we'll look at the cards in a minute it's just there. Uh, you know, black and white book. It's got things like, what year was this? 2017. So yeah, it's just three years since, since I saw it. So inside you is an enormous pool of creativity, endless ideas and possibilities just waiting to be loved by you. And that's by Tony Carmine Solano. We have the cards. 
So when it comes to the miners, they've been renamed. We've got angels, hearts, uh, trees and stars. I'd imagine trees is earth, stars being air, although angels, hearts being cups. So would that be swords, cups, earth? That would be swords. Well, let's let's see. It should tell us, I would imagine, in in the book. So uh, we've got about the art of love tarot, the art of love and the rider weight tarot. I have read, I have read and taught with the rider weight and other decks based on its structure for over twenty years. Thus, when it came to building a tarot deck, working with the rider weight system was my natural approach. Respecting the traditional meanings was as important as representing Tony's artwork as I was determined not to force the images to fit the tarot system. Over the years, Tony has created a large catalogue of work, so it was a matter of allowing the right 78 images. So it's pre-existing artwork by Tony Carmine Salerno that has been used to... Um, to make the deck. So does it say who the, uh, Denise Jarvie is the author? I wanna see where, ah, uh, here we go. We get a nice little table here. So angels is swords, which is air. Yeah, as I thought, hearts, cups, water, trees, pentacles, earth, stars, wands, fire. Okay, I can, I can, I can buy that really. Stars, fiery. Um, I love these. This is really useful. So we get like um, the beginning instead of the full, which is initiation. The, and it corresponds with the Rider Waite Smith. Wish they would use Smith. Um, so what the cards are in the Art of Love Tarot what they are in the Rider Waite Tarot. I'm wondering if Tarot of Light is still keeping this structure or if it's gone more to an RWS. Because it's intriguing me why there's a title change. And then we get a keyword as well, which is really nice. Initiation, impulse, intuition, mother for the empress, father for the emperor, etc. Uh, the, lovers, the lovers is union. So a nice, quick, easy reference guide. A little bit about each of the minor suits. And then some information on spreads. And then we go into the cards. So for the cards, you get a small black and white thumbnail image, the number and title, the initiation. Um, sorry, the keyword is initiation. Um, and then we get a quote. So the keyword for the magician is impulse, a quote, a description, a meaning, and then the correlation with the Rider Waite Smith. So it will tell us that the beginning is about initiation and it correlates with the fall, which is spirit, frivolity, folly, enthusiasm. And is it the same all the way through even to the minors? Yeah. So you get the same amount of information all the way, all the way through the deck, and then the advertising at the back of the other decks. A little bit about the author and the artist. So here's Tony and Denise. Yeah. So there we are. So nice box. Let's take out the cards. It's a nice thick deck. Um, on the back, it says the Art of Love Tarot is the first ever tarot deck featuring the artwork of intuitive artist Tony Carmine Salerno. Uh, tarot guru Denise Jarvi was inspired to create this deck from 78 of Tony's most enchanting works, bringing the contemporary new age approach to the age old tradition of the tarot. The four traditional suits of the tarot, wands, cups, swords and pentacles, become stars, hearts, angels and trees in the art of love's minor arcana, complementing the themes that run through Tony's work. 
the 22 major arcanas are revisited to reflect modern day versions of the traditional archetypes they represent. The tarot is ultimately a way to know ourselves by unveiling the unknown that lies before and within us. I like that, before and within us. Reading the Art of the Love deck will expand your awareness of the energies at play in your life and help reveal the endless possibilities that exist for you. These cards hold a divine, loving energy which will encourage a balanced, harmonious perception and assist you to creatively manifest your dreams and desires. So, and it's quite sturdy inside as well. Blue Angel have done well with the packaging here. Nice, sturdy box. Really like the bookmark as well and the pattern design on the back matches the back of the cards. So let's pop that inside the book to protect it. And let's have a look at the cards. Now these are crying out to be edged in like this lovely dark wine red colour. So we've got this beautiful design with like a, as I said, a, a darker red and a almost yellow gold mustardy um, design with a heart in the centre. These are not reversible. They probably would have been if it hadn't have been for that heart in the in the centre. Cardstock is lovely, it's nice and thick. Um, I can imagine the trimmers amongst us would get great pleasure trimming this down and I'm already thinking I would probably trim this to make it a little bit more tarot sized. So mind you, even the image on the centre of the card is wider than your traditional tarot. So this is taller and wider. It is more oracle size. And I can also see people using this as an oracle because of the, the keyword. It is a tarot deck, 78 card. It follows a tarot system. Um, oh, I've left one of my little, my little tower out from my tarot in a tin that, oops, that I did earlier. And I'm throwing them everywhere. Let's pop my little tower in. Have to be careful of not losing any of them. Um, so yeah, just looking, it feels like it's not perfect. Oh, it is. It's just the way I've, uh, I call it. So this is a chunky deck. It's thick cards, chunky in size, um, but really nice and durable. Look at this artwork. Don't you just love Tony's artwork? Absolutely beautiful. So what we'll do, we will have a close up look. We will zoom in and we'll have some nice music and just enjoy these beautiful, beautiful images.
Okay, so um, I've just picked out a few favourites. So I say favourites. This is the first time, as I said, in years that I've seen this deck. And these are just some cards that just as I was going through really struck me. And at this deck in particular, it is so soulful. Um, I know that, you know, as I work with this over time, more and more images are really going to speak to me. But this is kind of like that first reaction. I think the Emperor here is such a powerful card. Now, I don't know about anybody else, but when I... Let me make sure there's no glare as well from the light. No, we're okay. When I um, first saw that, I saw Christ, um, particularly the Mormon kind of image of Christ, which, when you think about it, is, is quite ridiculous, really, because... Uh, Christ isn't a sandy-coloured-haired, white-skinned man, but certainly it kind of reminded me of those pictures that I saw. And initially my reaction was, oh, you know, they're depicting Christ, but the key word is Father. But I don't really see it as Christ, but I see it as that energy, you know, that sort of Father energy. And I just think because with the eyes being closed and it's very soulful, but very strong and striking, like a Father energy. And it, I just think it's quite beautiful. I thought the lovers, oh, I just love that. I love the contrast of the the watery blue background, the deep blue, and then the red of the passion of the lovers. Just really, really stunning. Love the path. For the chariot card you know you, you get that sense of this beautiful it's almost like a crystal encrusted uh, pathway that's just going on to this beautiful light i love that almost like the peacock feather effect and it's kind of like a lemniscate the way it's making this infinity symbol so it's showing that pathway to infinity to the light the the ultimate destination that we will all eventually go i thought it was really gorgeous Loved the Hermit card, the retreat, just that rock, alone, isolated. Um, you could look at that as a rock within water and see this as a reflection on water or a desert, what, whatever it is. But it's that sort of, um, that aloneness, that separateness, that content, just being what it is and where it is. But, you know, also pulling in this sort of universal energy around gorgeous love the shadow for the devil card we get a man with the the horns but just look at that face as well i love the moon and i also love the sun i love the contrast of them both together i think they're gorgeous gorgeous and because this is pre-existing art stock i think the choices that have been made um is just really really wonderful the King of Angels, just look at that face. So young, a young king, which, you know, lots of people, when they think about the courts, think about them in ages with the, the page being, you know, very young, maybe young at heart. But, you know, we get young leaders as well. And I just I just thought this was really such a beautiful card. The Ten of Hearts. Stunning absolutely stunning look at those hearts now that's the ten of cups which we usually see in the rainbow and the cups and the family but it is the the end it's the accumulation of of everything it's really beautiful love the page of hearts what can i say i mean just look she's she's the tree she's the tree energy and this pulsating heart of love the fish around her it's just such a stunning image Again, Queen of Hearts, Sixth Sense. And look at all these kind of branches and things. The faces in these decks, they're so soulful. And I love um, tree people. <laughs> That's why I love the Guardian Tarot so much. I just think trees have wonderful energies. They have, they have a heart, you know, and you can, you can really feel the loving energy of trees. They give us life, they sustain us. They give us oxygen and there's a heart pulsating and emanating out of this tree for the ten of trees. And I just love this, the page of stars, this beautiful leopard. And again, we've got this sort of pathway between these trees. 
Um, I noticed this card, um, and I think that's from the, the Gaia Oracle, which is um, a deck that I, I have or had. I've got a few. I've got Namaste cards and a few uh, Oracles, as I mentioned, from uh, Tony Carmine Salerno's work. But this one, because it's pre-existed, obviously it's been chosen for the Page of Trees, which is beautiful, with this beautiful dove um, and the trees here. But, yeah, you will... You will find that, you know, that there are duplications between artwork, between decks, because, you know, Denise obviously chose the one she chose to represent them. I also really like the fact that um, they're colour coded when it gets to the suit. So you get these beautiful blues uh, for angels and the, the wording becomes uh, blue. Uh, for love, we get these beautiful pinks. Uh, for the earthy ones, the trees, we get green. And then we get like a, um, a yellow for the stars, which, which is just lovely. And they're the ones I showed at the back. So, yeah, the Art of Love Tarot. Soon to change, um, as I mentioned, to the Tarot of Light. Um, if you know why, let me know. Um, but do you have this deck? Do you use it? Do you use it more as an oracle? Or do you find it works beautifully as a tarot? Let me know your thoughts. Or are you thinking of getting it when it becomes the Tarot of Light? It'd be interesting to see. Can't wait to see the first walkthrough so we can see what differences there are. Thank you for watching, guys. Until next time, go in peace. Namaste and blessed be.